Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to discuss an old gun. Well, we'll let Sean tell you the story. We are rolling. So, right, hi there guys. I just want to take you through a story of a gun, um, a Rob Allen rail gun, which you look at this and you go, what the hell is that? But this gun has history and I'm going to take you through it. So I'm going to work the story backwards. Um, in a couple of parts yeah. So first of all, I found this gun underwater two weeks ago, um, which this is a gun I actually lost six months prior to that. So the story I lost it is obviously very embarrassing, trying to grab my mask, I've been hit by a big wave, let go of the gun, not realizing it's not connected to anything and goodbye gun, and but I saved my mask. But at the same time, I lost a beautiful one meter um, rail gun, roller gun, and that was the last I saw of it. Two weeks ago, while diving in super awesome conditions, hunting the shallows, looking for brush and so forth, um, I suddenly spotted this little bit of blue sticking out of a cave and I took a good look inside and there was the gun inside a cave, wedged in there, loaded, rubber intact. Everything looked absolutely phenomenal and, to plus, and also to, as a bonus, there was a big 1.275 crate kg crayfish sitting behind the gun. So I got my gun back, that was loaded, and I got a crayfish. And the gun was loaded and then some bronze beam came past and I thought, well, this would be amazing. The gun is still loaded, would it work? Uh, but it was jammed, sand in the trigger, so the gun didn't work. But the principle was, although this looks buggered, it's actually probably still repairable and could be refurbished. So now going right back to the beginning, this has history with me. For, I got this gun plus minus 20 years ago it was a 1.3 Rob Allen rail gun. No reel, just a rail gun, diving old school, had a single rubber, um, 16, 16 inch rubber on the top, 17 and a half mil spear, and that's how we used to dive. Um, and it's, what's so nice about it, it's modular. So as Rob Allen has brought out new guns, new materials, new mechanisms, new triggers, new reels, um, new muzzles, I've always just up upgraded. So I went from my single rubber, 16 mil, um, on this gun, I got a double muz muzzle with two 16 mils, um, and I put that on this gun with the reel, and that week I shot a 25 to 27 kg tuna. As fisherman, I'm always gonna say 27 kg, but it was a, a shore dive on the north coast of KZN, in a place called La Mercy, and I got a tuna that's a memorable fish, um, and you'll see that picture later. So modularization goes further. So I dived with that gun for many years. Um, then when I moved to another area, the water was a bit dirtier and I realized that I need something slightly shorter, but also with power. Um, also diving around some wrecks and stuff and so forth. I need something a bit more nimble and dirty water. Um, and then the rollers came out. So off went the, 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 muzzle, the double muzzle rubber head and I put a roller head on here. Uh, once again, the guy at the dive factory did that for me. Popped it on, changed the mechanisms put a, a small profile reel on and this gun has been, di I've dived a few nationals with it. It's got a lot of history, shot a lot of really quality fish, anything from dargas, big cooter. Oh, the first time I modulized this gun, I went for a dive off the bluff on a little boat of mine, my neighbor was top man, and I shot a cooter over 20 kgs on the first dive with it. So it's always been a lucky gun for me. So losing it was heartbreaking. Um, but once again, modulized it, the handle was changed, a new reel went on, and, it's just, and they even put a new, uh, new roller system on as well. So the versatility of these guns has been amazing. And um, having this gun back in my hands, even though it's been under the water for six months, it is actually gonna be awesome to see this gun getting refurbed and then going out and bagging some more quality fish with it. Now you've heard the story. Let's see what we can do to fix this gun up. As you've heard, there's been many changes over the years. We're going to revamp it, keeping his favorite gun still working. I'm going to let Dave pull it apart and have a look at just what we can save. We don't want to use anything that might be a structural problem. As you've heard, this was in the surf zone for six months. A lot of sand churning on it. It was covered up. I think the abrasion of the sand has actually taken the plating off the barrel where there isn't a sticker. So 
I'm worried about corrosion in there. So let's pull it apart, see what we got to work with. That does still look alright. Okay, let's take the spear out. Oh, super jammed up in here. The spear won't even budge. We have to take the mechanism out. Take these components off. So, Dave, where are you at at the moment? Okay, so all we've had to do with this cassette is replace the sear. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit rusty. Yeah, although that's stainless, under the water, long term low oxygen environment it's reacted with the spear steel and not looking good looking at the aluminium same thing the similar metals are a problem especially in a low oxygen environment like the sea being salt water electrolysis goes crazy so we've replaced the sear we need to replace the barrel carry on let's see what's next cool So, George, you're back to collect your gun. Super excited. The spear was badly rusted, so we get rid of that. The barrel, as I mentioned, a lot of corrosion. Didn't look like it was too bad inside. The plugs are still holding. Everything else except the sear. The only other concern was the spear reacted with electrolysis and made a divot in the stainless. Low oxygen environment, that's normal. Dissimilar metals, they do react. So, there's the gun. Everything's exactly the same, except the sear and the barrel and the spear. Fantastic. No, there you go. No, that, 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 that's absolutely amazing. I mean, I just, yeah, you know, once again, it's just that, that modularization. I mean, this gun's got history, and now it's about to have another whole life. But I think what's the most amazing story is you're telling about those, these bearings. They're still the same. The same bearings under the sea for six months. How's Ceramic. That, how's that possible? Nothing to corrode. 
Nothing to corrode. The sand that was in there is softer than ceramic, so it just chews it up, spun them in warm water, no. all ready. Absolutely phenomenal. And the reel, the same reel. I mean, so exactly the same, cleaned it out. So in theory, this is a 19-year-old gun that's now had its fourth modulization. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully many more big fish to come. But yeah, thank, thanks, Rob. No, this is, you're this is phenomenal. And yeah, can't wait to go and test it out in the water. Really appreciate it. Thank no, you. You're thanks. welcome. Brilliant. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Stand by for the next.